Welcome to highlights of the final Ray Peacock podcast live, recorded at the Arts Theatre London on 20th of May 2008. show next week we're, me and Ed will be returning to our duties all three of us will really be returning to our duties me and Ed will be going back to you know the world of professional stand up comedy and Raji of course will be uh, hiding in the arts theatre <laughs> hoping not to get caught and trying to work out which one's Jessie Wallace's dressing room <laughs> and asking her if she's got any spare rooms at her house and can be come and live with her for a little bit but we've got lots to get through we've got no real sort of funny bit at the beginning this week because uh, me and Ed got over at Cyber last night and we watched every single one of Rich Stolanka's videos last night in, in one long session. Um, we are exor- the amount of times we came close to wanking along with him doesn't bear thinking about it. It does wear you down after a while. It's a bit like that Chinese water torture but with a cock. <laughs> um, so uh, I think we should really crack on and we should bring on my first co-host, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please welcome onto the stage an absolute treat for you, ladies and gentlemen. Big fat Ed Gamble, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Very smart indeed. I'm <laughs> that nice suit on? Yeah, lovely suit. Where's yours gone? I'm wearing it still. It's a t shirt, it's not a suit. No, that's how they wear it. Who? <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Can we do the star signs? Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, totally. the tube on the way in. Um, when we were in our chauffeur, <laughs> um, being driven here, right? Uh, we were reading star signs, and um, you might know that Raj has been living with me at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, it's a joy every day. It's like Pee Wee's Funhouse. <laughs> But yeah, he's at the bottom of the barrel, isn't he, uh, Raji? Oh, yeah, mate. He's not working for him, but um, I read my star sign on the way in. If you can see that a friend isn't doing themselves any favours <laughs> with regards to a tricky situation they're dealing with right now, you may feel it's your job to solve all their problems for them. <laughs> but it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't. Offer support, but don't chide yourself for not being able to get their life back on track. <laughs> <laughs> Only they can do that. So, I was made up when I read that. Yeah, it's perfect. I've been chiding myself. <laughs> yeah, I've myself right, I think You're I a chider, that's and a problem. I've always always been my problem, yeah. Um We've had a nice week, haven't we? Well, fun. yeah, we've had we've a nice week. We've had fun these last few days, because Ed's been living there as well just for a few days, but you don't have to live there. No, no, I can go to my real house. Yeah, that is the difference, yeah, isn't it? You just came to join us for fun. Well, you had fun, didn't you? Well, you all had fun. We had, I had as well, but I brought fun into your life. We well, say that. I shared the fun. We went for a little drive, didn't we? Yeah, we always did that. We said that last week. We yeah. always, we always go for a little drive. You were being Before mischievous podcast, last week. Plan it all up and that. Have the roof down, plan it all up. We had a great time. Yeah, lovely. Mischievous. Well, you are, yeah. We got to the garage this week. Same we? garage again. Same, Same garage as the <laughs> car wash incident last week. Yeah. Got barred this time, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> 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 there's not many people can get barred from a garage. Well, I think when I explain why we were barred from the garage, everyone will understand. Just because I was asking questions, that was all it was. I don't, they're, they're, How? Oh, right. They're supposed to be there to help. A question is not, can I change this pound coin? I don't like the smell of mine. <laughs> you changed it. Then you went round all the different crisps, opening one of each flavour and tasting it, 
and saying you didn't know which one you liked. <laughs> Just testing them I out. I paid for them as well, and I got bored. I think I'm having a mental breakdown. Yeah, I think I'm <laughs> a little bit worried about that. But obviously well, that was all the fun we had, wasn't it? Well, no, it wasn't. Yeah, we got barred from the garage, didn't I we? think what you're about to tell is the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, I think, it I think it's is. commitment to comedy that just shouldn't be there. It was I, I didn't find it that funny, to be honest. <laughs> it was funny. I was a bit peckish, wasn't I? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fat, etc. Yes, yes. Um, and we... Uh, Got in your car. Don't fit in your car, fat. Okay. <laughs> um, you've got two seats and that doesn't really fit into it properly. Yes, yeah, it's because I'm tall. You fit better with the rooster. Did everyone see his suit jacket comes down below his knees? <laughs> and he got a little length, so that's it's a disability in a way, so... <laughs> it's made to measure that. Yeah, who for? Warwick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Warwick Davis isn't mentioned enough these days, is he? No, he's not. He doesn't get enough I've got press. a lot of pens again, Ed, look. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, got into his car. Uh, I mentioned I was a bit peckish. Said, really fancied a McDonald's cheeseburger. And you said, oh, well, most places will be shut by now, because it was, what, two, three? But I know a 24-hour McDonald's. But you know a 24-hour McDonald's. And I did. Yeah, you do, right? So, so yeah. I thought, what I'll do is I'll just drop off, wake up in a bit. Well, who gets hungry and then falls asleep? Well, I do. I hibernate and then I'll be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> right? Falling asleep was your first mistake. Yeah, so I dropped off. I wake up two hours later, <laughs> still in the car, on the motorway. <laughs> Turn around see Ray singing Nelly the Elephant at the top of his voice. Shooting along the motorway, yeah. we ended up in a McDonald's in the end, didn't we? Where yeah, was it? Yeah, we got, we definitely, I, well, I said I would get you to one. It was in Fife! And I got you to <laughs> <laughs> About 240 miles in, I was going, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> because we've got to come back. Yeah. <laughs> By the time we've got there, you know every other McDonald's in the country is open. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine in the morning. But I, and I didn't even know. I wasn't even sure there was a 24-hour one in Fife. I just thought that Fife would be a funny word to say tonight. <laughs> so I'd better go to Fife. It is the funniest place now. The best thing I did about that, though, was when you were asleep. Yeah. You know this. Oh, yeah. Um, we got to McDonald's, went to the drive through I ordered a cheeseburger. But, you know, not a really... Cheese, a... He had a cheeseburger! We'd driven nearly 400 miles and he had a cheeseburger! But that's what I had a hankering for! He wasn't even for. a <laughs> Fucking moron. Right, look, sorry, I'm the moron. I turned around to you and go, what do you want? You went, oh, I'm not really hungry. <laughs> Stopped at McDonald's at the services while you were asleep. <laughs> and to prove it, I brought out all the stuff I done. It was a lovely meal and I ate it all up all night. It's a, it's a bizarre feeling to be eating McDonald's, watching a fat bloke asleep, yeah. worrying he's going to wake up. <laughs> because, because it might ruin the joke. I started pretending in my head that if you woke up, you were going to just claw me. <laughs> That's great. I, I think I got the smells in because I had a weird dream about a cow in a cheese field. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, speaking of homeless freeloaders... <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, Raji has got dressed up all nice as well. He said he's coming very smart, didn't he? He's going to come in his best clothes, yeah. what he said. That's what he said. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, without, <laughs> without further ado, would you please welcome the little Raji James. He's going to send us a ruined it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Are we generally discussing a child Cyberman out here <laughs> as your big introduction? I'm a shirt. You were wearing your shirt, you little Cyberman. That is your shirt. Look, see, no. for Raji. <laughs> <laughs> this is what everyone will wear in the future, Raji, anyway. Yeah. Do you think, think about it. Everything in the future is silver. That is a fact. <laughs> that is okay. the truth. Everyone knows that, don't they? Actually? Let's have a vote, right? <laughs> Out of all the people on the podcast, right. who thinks Raji deserves to die, right? First off, who doesn't think he does? Um, right. right, that is one. one. That is one. Right, so we need a majority. Who thinks Raji should die? 
Look, all finales have to have a big, big finish. <laughs> <laughs> you've all listened to the podcast, you know how it works, you know what you've invested to, in a way it is your fault. When we crucify Raja on the cross behind here at the end, <laughs> that is technically your fault. But Raji, yes, sir. what's coming up on the show today, do you think? I have no idea, because you've told me literally nothing. No guests. No, there's no guests. We've got uh, Richard the Wanker, not in real life, no guests. Uh, Raji, stand up. Oh, yeah, uh, that's the section I do know is happening. Yeah, and this week he's doing a political comedian. Oh, no, really not. Sharp, incisive. Yeah. No, I'm Political not. stuff, we want to keep it, you know, pretty smart. Yeah. Wait. Cool, cool. Great. No. So that is what, that's what, we, that's what text yeah. I sent to you. No. <laughs> we are doing a political comedian, no. as we've been preparing all week, and we're all looking forward to seeing your views on Gordon Brown and all that sort of thing. Right, you start the fucking show. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 All right, if you are going to be sympathetic, you can all fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting up with ours all night. This is yeah. the point of this. This is all fucking podcasting. You're going to go, oh, they're being cruel. Then fuck <laughs> off now. <laughs> Just get the fuck out of there. I don't even want you here. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for your fiver. <laughs> And at the end of tonight, we're going to pretend that he's died, <laughs> and we're going to do like a memorial service and sing a really sad song about him, and bring all the Muppets out like Jim Henson's funeral. Yeah, that was a good idea. How about yeah. that? Uh, Raji, yes. I found out something this week. Go on. What is the name of our Lord and Saviour? I don't know. I don't have one. No, but if no, we, if if we <laughs> traditionally, if we conform into the Christian point of view, what would be the name of our Lord and Saviour? Jesus. Jesus what? Jesus Christ. That's right. brilliant. Well so done, so Raji. Learned, that's brilliant. So you've learned that. Who told you? Because <laughs> what? <laughs> Who told you this? <laughs> what? No. The thing is, right? I was, I was very little. <laughs> <laughs> so was she. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Raji. You tell that. No, look, it was when I was at school, right? Yep. When I was younger. I'll tell you what, no matter what, you should be drinking cranberry juice for your cystitis. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a lot of cranberry juice, that clears the cystitis right off. What's cystitis? And the worst thing for your thrush is dairy products. And you keep eating, stop eating dairy products, just cut them out completely. I get loads of cranberry juice, then you'd be out oh, there up in no time, that. <laughs> right. So anyway, Jesus Christ, we were talking about. Yeah, that's yes. good, isn't it, Raji? <laughs> All right, when I was little, I thought his name was Jesus Price. <laughs> <laughs> Because I didn't, somewhere along the line I'd misheard, yep. and, and there was a girl in my class, and it's not, it's not the one who we now know is famous as Jordan, but there was a girl in my class called Katie Price. Uh -huh. So when they were saying And you thought Jesus, she was the daughter of Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> but it was a... You know, sorry to hear about your dad and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I read it in that big newspaper at the back of my, my dad's room, seriously, flicking through all like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. The Bible. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get jokes. I get it. So go on. So no, that was it. It was just it was a surname I recognised. So that, was, so, that made sense. So you, so you decided. That, I mean, it's, we're laughing, but it's essentially blasphemy, isn't it? What yeah. you've done. You have been blasphemous. By no, you. no. Being blasphemous is taking the Lord's name in vain. I got the Lord's name wrong, so therefore I'm <laughs> I was being unblasphemous. Yeah, in a way, you were the anti-blasphemy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Rebalancing like the Jerry Springer the Opera thing. You were rebalancing yeah, by just putting it back. By just getting it wrong and then just fucking that up. <laughs> yeah, because then that's not offensive. So how did you find out that it was Jesus Christ and not Jesus Christ? I fucking love yes. this. Um You wrote it in a school book. Oh god! No. 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 It's dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was in a What do you think is God's second name is? <laughs> do you believe in God? Um not really. Me neither! No. <laughs> High five. Oh. It's good, isn't it? Okay. If we go out right. You're not living with me. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, what's your favourite shower set in our, in our house? Mine is mist. And I think that your favourite one is get loads of water on the floor and leave theirs everywhere. Is, is, that, is that your favourite setting? Oh, are you coming on a holiday with us? Yeah, you're coming on holiday, Roger, or not? Roger, we're going to go sell Bravo, right, Roger? And you've got to come with us, right? What are we going to do, right? Go outside by the pool, right? Sit in the shade, read a book, yeah. right? And then we're, what are we going to do, right? We're going to go to a restaurant, right, called Franco's. Right? We're going to have calamari, and then we're going to sit there for ages going, can't believe I'm eating octopus. Right? Look, 
Lovely jubbly. Jobs are good and right. Right, right. Good down, twisters. Lovely jubbly. Grandma does flamenco. Oh, she's fallen over. You can see her bloomers. Lovely jubbly. Having a lovely time and now. Great karaoke. Lovely jubbly. Great karaoke, right? Walk back to the hotel, right? See a girl crying near beach. Sit and talk to her a bit. Agree with her that her boyfriend's a bastard. Lovely jubbly. End up necking for a bit. Swap phone numbers, but you probably won't ring her. Lovely jubbly. Back to the hotel, right? Three more days of that. Back on plane. White shirts on. Show off our tan. Are you coming or not? It is 600 quid. You've got, you've got to pay the deposit now. <laughs> then no. What have you been up to this week, Rod? Um, not a lot, really. Oh, oh uh, other than I got I got locked out by you three times. <laughs> um, oh, and then there was the phone call because you reported me missing. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried that he'd gone shot, right? And he was ages, right? So I phoned police and reported him missing. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't know where you were, RG. And they said apparently you have to be missing for 48 hours before they can take it seriously. Yeah, no, and also it would help if you were a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And don't forget Rentakill. Oh yes, and of course Rentakill came round because you'd reported that you had an what was it? An infestation, infestation of Raji. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they took that job though. <laughs> I wonder what a Raji is. <laughs> Sounds like an exotic bug. <laughs> Which, in a way, is what you are, isn't it, Roger? Yeah. No. Hey, Roger, me and Ed were chatting up. Well, you know this because you came in at the last minute, but me and Ed were chatting up some welfare girls the other day in that pub. Oh, yeah. yeah we were chatting them up right up. Yeah. Well, no, you were lying to them. Well, I wasn't <laughs> lying, no. It wasn't, right. wasn't lying as such. It was more like... Um, expanding on the truth. <laughs> Sorry, right, which one. bit of the truth? Well, all right, Raji. Okay, here's how we expanded on the truth. Yeah. We watched The Apprentice, right? Yeah. So if you expand on that, Ray was on The Apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so me telling them that I am on The Apprentice, right? Right. Was only a little bit of an expansion <laughs> of the truth. It wasn't like completely out of order for me to do that, and so, they believed it as well. So for, right. So okay, let's say that's fair enough. So from yeah. watching it to saying you were on it, yeah. that makes sense. Okay. I said that Ed was my filer. <laughs> Just followed him around doing his. Files. And then they uh, said, <laughs> that's what I was by the end of the evening. So. Uh, and then they said that they watched it, but they didn't remember everyone on it. So yeah. they, they said they sort of recognised me, <laughs> but they weren't sure. I was like, oh no, I am on it. And I said, I can't say if I win it or not. I filmed it ages ago, but I can't say if I win it or not. And they said that the only one they knew um, was Rafe. And your yeah. timing was impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fact that you then walked through the door, yeah. and me and I could go, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> here he is. And that you got all arsey saying they were being racist because they kept calling you <laughs> Rafe. <laughs> but they thought you were him. Yeah, but I didn't know that that's what the conversation had been prior to me arriving. I, 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 like I walked, in, walked in and people go, oh, Rafe. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> Enders. But at first, <laughs> when will you remember? No. no. no, 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 no darling. <laughs> but at first, I just thought they were just saying, you know, the first brown person's name that came into the I've head. I've got some and jokes to do, Raji. Right, go on then. Oh, right. No, are, 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 are you really going to do I've got my jokes right. Here are some jokes. Oh, like, so well, they're telling jokes, so I'm going to do these jokes now. Okay. And then we can crack on with the next bit of show, right? Okay. Right, here are the jokes that I've got so far. Um, Raji, what is it what you call a deer um, that doesn't know about nothing? Oh, I know that one. No, no blind. No, it's no idea. <laughs> no, but it works. You twist it around. It works. It works. Right? No, it doesn't work the other right? way. Right? No, it's not one. Right? What do you call? Can right? What do you call? Like no, wait. What do you call a blind deer? Whatever you want, they can't hear you. No, because no, no. <laughs> No! That's a good one as well. It's a good one. Right, hang on now. This is getting a bit complicated, this one. Right, what is a nun? Right? Oh, <laughs> what is a nun that has a javelin in it, right? And, and can't turn around in the corridor. Why? A newspaper. So that is a good one. I don't even know what, what the origin what, of that one was. What the is, two, like, I could pick it up. What is black and white? I was going to one dead and 80. Charles, I'm doing a gig. Do I get Trump human? You're doing a comedy. You're doing a gig. Yes! Right, what, right? What is black and white, right? And you read it, right? And it, and it isn't a penguin. That's a newspaper. Know. I don't run in the punchline, Raji. <laughs> How did you do What's brown and sits in my living room? I'm staying, it's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me just get this in order. You do some, uh, just do some, I do some banter, shall I? Do some stuff with your Anyway. <laughs> I was walking down the street the other day, right? <laughs> Bloody, um... Woman fell over. <laughs> Pretty, you can imagine it, it's funny. This is good, it's like you've been framed button on an audio book. <laughs> <laughs> right, she Why did they over, never right? do audio books if you've been framed? <laughs> <laughs> I would bloody love that. So she's on the floor, right? And she, she's really hurt herself. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think that'll do for banter now, isn't it? Yeah, I think that'll do. 
It's Raji's. We're doing Raji's stand up now. We are. Um, what is he doing? He's oh, doing yeah. He's a blue comic, isn't he? He's been. Well, he's, he's essentially doing a tribute act. Yeah. To, um, Roy, to Roy Chubby Brown. Roy Chubby Brown. He's yeah. doing um, Raji Skinny Brown. We've got. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we should bring him on, and uh, and we've got a very special judge for it, ladies and gentlemen, who unfortunately can't be here with us. Yeah. Um, but they are listening to it now. Yeah. Uh, it's a live link up. We've got a live link up. They're going to listen to it and then they're going to give their opinions on it. Yeah. Bring him on. Let's bring, bring him on. on. Right. So, so it's Raji Skinny Brown. Right. Hey, okay, ladies. Way, it's, it, we have to say that. <laughs> it's fine. We should say that. <laughs> no, we should say that because it is actually, as far as we're aware, he's using Trudy Brown's material. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's using those bits, don't worry. <laughs> no, Trudy Brown was never racist, you know. Up until the last two years, Trudy Brown was never racist and he started doing it the last two years. That's not an excuse. No, no. <laughs> I tell you what, I never killed a prostitute until last week. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally gone years! <laughs> I've held it in all this time! I can't believe this is not being taken into account, Your Honour! <laughs> <laughs> no, but I find it really disappointing, because I think he's a really good comic. I'm yeah. not, you know, regardless of what you think of the material, I think he's a really good comic. I find it really disappointing that he decided to go that way. Oh, uh, but yeah, we, so we should warn you that it is going to, it, it might be adult. Yeah. <laughs> What other things should we talk about before we bring him back on? I don't know. I like these bits when he's not on. Yeah, it's him. Are you alright, Ed? I'll be alright in the end. <laughs> <laughs> It'll all turn out alright, won't yeah, it? It'll turn out nice again, won't it, sometimes? Yeah. Right. Roger! What's up? <laughs> Get into the Roger okay. Brown yeah. feel already. That was Stop the what's best happening. Roger Brown I've ever heard that, Roger. <laughs> Tell you what, Roger. Fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Roger! Be then, or are you drinking, beautiful? <laughs> and do you what? We think you're a fucking cunt, mate. <laughs> we fucking hate you. And no wonder you are in the liquor room and Jessie Wallace is in the big room. <laughs> because she was good on standards and you were just rubbing. And you can't... Oh, it's the writers, it's the writers. <laughs> oh, the writers didn't know the Asians in the media. Nothing to do with Asians, mate. Nothing to do with writing, mate. It comes down to straightforward lack of fucking charisma, mate. <laughs> That's all it fucking boils down to. <laughs> Oh, sometimes do teaching. Oh, well done. <laughs> I'm sure that your dad would be very proud if he hadn't have just fucked off back to India when you were three months old. <laughs> Returning only briefly to kidnap you to get back as your mum. <laughs> um, are you ready? <laughs> fair enough. Fair, fair days, fair days. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a blue comic? <laughs> well then please, put your hands together and go wild and crazy for Raji Skinny Brown! <laughs> you fuck bastard! 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 Alright, alright, alright. Oh, yeah, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Roy Chubby Brown Roger. always downs a pint before he starts. What does Roy Chubby Brown do? Downs a pint for his oh, audience. Downs a pint for his audience. You're exactly like Roy Chubby Brown's audience. <laughs> All the way. No, I no, thought you could just down slip something down yeah. your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you fat bastard! 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 <laughs> I 
I remember, I remember that first fucking morning we had together. Oh, Jesus Christ, you could hear a fucking pin drop. I didn't see the hand grenade in the other hand. It's <laughs> 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 so not to get me, she was. I mean, I don't like to speak to the other day. I mean, there are some things I wouldn't make gags about. I mean, like fucking kitty fiddlers, I wouldn't talk about them. I think it's important to keep your work and your hobby separate. <laughs> And one time, right, and she was a fucking clumsy bitch, I'll tell you as well. And one time, she says to me, E, can I borrow your car? I says, fucking hell, lass. You can borrow the car, but be fucking careful. Anyway, two hours later, she comes tottering back in. Oh, Jesus, she had a face on that like a skelp end, I'll tell you. And she says to me, right, she says, I've got some good news and some bad news. And I says, hey, fucking hell, lass, you better not have any bad news for me about my fucking car. And she went, all right, your airbag's still working. <laughs> oh, that didn't go down. <laughs> that was <a> fucking shit. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Um, but anyway, I'm going to finish because I've, I've, I've had some good news recently and I want to share it with you. I won the fucking lottery. I did. A bit fucking more than that, though. You won the tenner. I said I won the fucking lottery. <laughs> That's fucking better. So I says to her, I says to the girlfriend, I says, hey pet, I've won the fucking lottery, pack your bags. And she goes, oh, where are we going? Is it going to be hot? Is it going to be cold? Should I, uh, should I uh, pack should I light stuff? Should I pack heavy stuff? I says, don't you worry about that pet. Just pack your bags and fuck off! <laughs> Women are stupid, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> it is bang on the money with that. Women well, are well stupid, aren't they? Okay, Raji, you don't do any racist stuff this week. All right, I'll have a pop at the women and talk about kiddie fiddling. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I'm glad to see that Jimmy Nail is still doing well, though. And he's doing well. <laughs> So, Raji, you were, uh, I think you were uh, one of your fans with that. <laughs> in the room this evening, haven't you? You did all your incisive. <laughs> well, it's not my material, is it? It's, it's, oh, that's it's, right. It's, then, a, no, uh, it's, a, it's a tribute to Roger. And Jackie later Brown. on, I'll be reading out Mein Kampf. <laughs> <laughs> not even my material, don't worry about it. <laughs> Fair point, well made. Okay. Um, how did you think it went, Roger? Uh, I think I was doing all right, and then and then a couple of gags didn't really land at all, and uh, probably then I don't know why. But I, I would argue they got stalled on the runway, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure they ever took off in the first place too, did they? Well, only a couple those. Right, Roger. Simon Cowell's been listening to this. What? <laughs> Simon Cowell, <laughs> off of the um, pop idol, whatever it is, yeah. has been listening to your stand up this evening. Um, you know, because he's doing Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. He's been listening to it, and he's going to now um, speak to you direct. Um, from the um, where is out, I guess America. America yeah. um, is going to say he's going to speak directly to you about what he thinks of your performances. Yeah. We also sent him audio clips of all your other performances as well. Okay. And he's going to just say what he thinks of you now. So um, hopefully we should have Simon on the line. Before we say this, I think you may be special. <laughs> <laughs> But you know I can hold my breath for ages anyway, because I can hold my breath in tunnels. That's a good yeah. section. Yeah, it's a very good it's a very good section, isn't it, Raj? You're talking about how you can when you are driving a car, yeah. which is a weapon in the wrong hand, <laughs> that you whenever you go through a tunnel, hold your breath until you get back out of the tunnel. Yeah. That is not a, something a 38-year-old man should be doing. <laughs> Train your lungs and stuff. Train for what? For holding for the your next breath. fucking tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> And if anyone would like to see this, it, it, there is a section on the DVD where we see it. In the Blackwall Tunnel, you know? Yeah, in yeah. the Blackwall Tunnel, which is a very long tunnel. I didn't manage it all. There's nothing through. better than hearing a producer going, please breathe. <laughs> <laughs> please breathe. Please breathe. <laughs> and pissing himself and fucking Nick going, please breathe. <laughs> please breathe. Um, Roger. So, uh, we're approaching the end now. Okay. Getting done and dusted and that all finished off. Cool. Um, so, what do you mean cool? Why is it cool? No, I just mean cool that we, you know, get through it, get into the end. Well, well, yeah, come on through, yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, something's been missing, hasn't it, this evening? We're not done with something. Oh, right. So, what is that? It's RTW. What is your favourite section? Of it's not RTW. If there was a man and you had to marry him, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> definitely not RTW. I can tackle these definitely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Roger, could you introduce the section, please? Uh, ladies.
ladies and gentlemen, for your pleasure. Uh, delectation. Like delectation. That Explain who he is. Uh, Explain uh, the man. I'd, I'd like to uh, introduce to you uh, Ed. Not me. Everyone knows who's Arthur Who's Hilly. going to be telling us the latest exploits of Richard the Wanker, a 58-year-old man who uh, likes to masturbate. I wonder what he's been up to this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, like it's Famous Five or something. Film himself and then place his videos of him masturbating on the internet. Ed. <laughs> Uh, this one is called uh, Richard the Wanker coming for Joanne. That's <laughs> new out this week. Here we go, Richard the Wanker coming for Joanne. One second. Richard pops himself down on the bed, bright and breezy as he like, as if he thinks what he is doing is okay. He says, hi Joanne, as if he has trapped her in his webcam. In a way, it wouldn't surprise me if Richard the Wanker was an evil wizard who captures people in technology. Okay, it would surprise me a bit. <laughs> 22 seconds. He shows us a pic, pic of Joanne and mentions that she is a bit shy as her face is turned away from the camera. I would believe that, Richard, were she not fully exposing her vagina. <laughs> 35 seconds. Richard <laughs> says that the picture of her with her legs splayed shows that she is ready for a cock full of spunk to be sprayed over her. Quite frankly, Richard, I can think of a few other things that this shows she is ready for. For example, she is ready for someone to cover her up and sit down for a little chat about self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-five seconds. Forty-five seconds. Let me tell you about Joanne. Oh, brilliant. A bloody biography. That's just what I like in my internet porn. The history behind the fanny on display. The backstory of the split Mary. Oh. <laughs> I was in two minds whether to put that in. The motivation behind the quadge. Oh. What? Good one, no quadge, yeah, isn't it? One minute. Apparently Joanne found Richard on the internet while having a laugh with the girls from work, and then she masturbated that night. There's that shyness again, Joanne. She's so coy. <laughs> Richard... <laughs> Richard then details Joanne's fantasy, which is completely incoherent. I have to call Ray to, to see if he knows what Richard says, but we both agree that he is a little bit drunk and is trying to make up his own language. <laughs> What we managed to gather was she was imagining that I was uh, tying watches, what I was doing, then pull it in a cabin for a bit and seeing the spunk shooting over a picture, so that's good. <laughs> I have it, that's good. <laughs> tying watches? Tying what? No idea what it means, Roger. Go home and try it later. <laughs> 1 minute 31. Shy Joanne supposedly likes cock regardless of age or the looks of the person using it, as, <laughs> as long as they enjoy themselves inside her. Apparently her husband likes to think she fucks anything that moves. Sounds like he's hit the nail on the head, doesn't it, Joanne? She says, I like the thought of being probed and disgust while naked and fucked and everyone watches. I am from Sweden and work for Ryanair. <laughs> Two minutes. Like internet viral campaign to a new home. <laughs> Why not pop a board? <laughs> Two minutes thirteen. She has invited Richard to go to Sweden and give her one. Richard is undecided. Go on, Richard, you'll probably get cheap flights. <laughs> two minutes thirty. Richard reads us an email that Joanne has sent him. She says she has already had two wanks that morning and now she is going to drift down to the poolside, warm up her pussy with the sun's rays and have another session this afternoon. Joanne appears to be solar powered. <laughs> She also doesn't seem to be respecting the sensitivities of other pool users. <laughs> Still, I suppose it's more effective than bugsying a bed with your towel. <laughs> Get down there early, wipe your funny down, jobs are good. <laughs> oh, insert amusing comment about the Germans and towels here. I forgot to do that. <laughs> She says she is going to have to use a bottle, as she doesn't have her dildo or vibe with her. Joanne, I'm not sure that this is the only alternative. <laughs> Perhaps instead of the dildo or vibe, you could use some restraint. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes. Richard looks a fuck of a lot like Pob when I come to think of it. <laughs> Three minutes thirty. Joanne likes Richard's cum swallowing videos and says it is a big turn on for girls to see men doing this. I agree, Joanne. 
As after last week, I had a big queue of girls waiting after the show to tell me how turned on they were. <laughs> in fact, you can hear how much the, the people love those videos on the recording. When everyone shouts and screams for more when I finish reading, and they all carry me out on their shoulders chanting, Mouth wank, mouth wank, <laughs> mouth wank. <laughs> Three minutes forty-seven. Oh, you didn't get a pressure up an hour. Three minutes. Oh, cool. Oh, I like you. Thank you. Aren't like you nice? <laughs> Three minutes 47. She says she wants to do a video with Richard where he disciplines her and basically does what he wants on cam. I hate to disappoint you, Joanne, but I think that's going to be wanking. <laughs> <laughs> Give him free reign to do what he wants. I get the feeling that Richard the wanker will probably wank. <laughs> he's a bugger for a wank. Yeah, he's a bugger for a wank. <laughs> Four minutes 42. Richard lays out the criteria for pics he wants to receive. He says that he would preferably seize the face as he likes to see the face. I want to see the face, ideally, as I like to see that. <laughs> it can be blacked out a little bit, but I prefer to see the face. Perhaps he is not as shallow and as seedy as we first thought. Perhaps he appreciates the delicate structure of the beautiful visage. I'm the tits, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Richard, you've spoiled it! <laughs> Five minutes, 14. That's right, Richard. Take off your shirt and cast it aside with, along with the last shreds of yours and my dignity. <laughs> Six minutes, 59. Stop, spunky time. <laughs> <laughs> he does that face where he looks like he's going to be sick, which is a bit bloody rich. <laughs> if I can keep it down, Richard, so can you. <laughs> He says it was awesome, as if this is a deleted scene from Bill and Ted. <laughs> Until next time. Nope, I never have to do this again! Oh, that has made me feel a bit lost. <laughs> is it bad if I watch them for no reason? Yes. <laughs> oh. Bye forever then, Richard. <laughs> Yes, sir. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. That's a lot, mate. That's a whole year of doing off. podcasts. Well, it's not yet in between, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, and you took some shit, haven't you, Roger? Right? This series on the preceding two. Yeah. yeah you've been a good sport, though. Yeah, but a good sport. Can you just be serious for a moment? I think, okay. yeah, you yeah, have been a good sport. You've been a lovely sport. Yeah, you've been a smashing sport, a lovely sport. Um, and the thing, there's a, a, a misconception about what we actually do on the podcast. About, you know, because you are a you're a revolution, you know, you can... I think some people think, you know, take it too far and that, they're my best bits. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, but I think you know yourself, it's only because we believe in you. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's only because, like, you know, we, we actually rate you for all. Yeah. We're just trying to encourage you. Hey. To do better, champ. Chin up, man. Hey, come Chin on. up, dude. Cause... You know, because we, we know, <laughs> and Roger, we know how important it is, you know, to have people believe in you. That's all it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> If just one person believes in you, deep enough and strong enough believes in you, hard enough and long enough, before you knew it, someone else will think, if he can do it, I can do it, making it too <laughs>
We may not be fine! We may not be fine! So that's it, but oh, basically, so if you can find someone to believe in you, then... <laughs> Don't look at me, mate. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it for the series. Uh, all that remains for the series to so thank Big Fire Gambler Drummond! Thanks a lot, James! You've been a good Would you please thank the Arts Theatre of London for hosting us? And please thank George Orwell Point at UK for hosting the podcast! This has been a big enough production. Uh, we're off now. Thanks for that. Thank you for coming. It's really appreciated. Thank you for supporting and all the rest of it. It is genuinely appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> That was the fifth and final Ray Peacock podcast live, recorded at the Arts Theatre London on 20th of May 2008. Written and performed by Ray Peacock, Raji James and Ed Gamble. Piano and backing vocals were performed by Megan Farrer. The production coordinators were Alice Cadogan, James Taylor and Simon Streeton. Technical operation was by Laura Barron. The Ray Peacock podcast is a big enough production hosted by chausel.co.uk. Go and do a lick of sleep now, thanks. But you'll be... Th-